Well, good morning from the windowsill at my Ibis Styles Hotel, just overlooking Arnhem Central Station. So, um, what am I doing up here? Well, I'm keeping out of the weather, basically. As you can probably see on the window there, it is awful out there. The wind is howling and the rain is falling. But nevertheless, I shall be making a trip today. Uh, Arnhem, you probably can't make it out, but I can with the naked eye over there. You can just make out from my hotel window the remarkable bridge over the Rhine, which was attempted to be taken by Allied forces in the Second World War, but they failed as part of Operation Market Garden. And anybody who's seen the old film from the 1970s, I think it was, The Bridge Too Far, or A Bridge Too Far, then uh, yeah, it was all about the battle on that bridge or the battle for that bridge. I've been sitting here watching the trolley buses come and go and the good people of Arnhem going about their business. I'm going to be catching a fairly short regional train into Zvala. Now, I'm quite interested in visiting Zvala itself because it's a old city completely surrounded by canals and waterways. So that's for me. I'm looking forward to that. But what we're going to do when the weather or even if the weather doesn't get any better, I'm going to pop downstairs and catch this train to Zvola from Arnhem Central, which is a stunning rebuild of a station and uh, a very good reflection on what the Dutch are doing with their railway stations. So, uh, yeah, let's get down there, have a little look round Arnhem Central, and from then on, see how it goes. The bridge that was fought over was eventually destroyed in the Second World War by the American Air Force and this replacement is built in the same style. It was named after Major General John Frost in 1977. The waterfront down here alongside the Lower Rhine shows remnants of the commercial past and also some evidence of the commercial present. But back here near the station we have a look at the exterior and this new building, well it carefully cloaks the somewhat weird and downright funky interior. So let's enter from the main road here at the same level as the bus station. To my left the doors enable access to the various bus stands and moving right we get our first chance to gaze down on the concourse. This stepped ramp leads you down to the lower level and to the person playing the grand piano. So let's listen as we walk. And it's only now looking back that all those curving walls and ceilings become evident. piano player finishes and so we head up to the top level and as we rise that central spine looks like some weird silver alien tree and the flow of the silver shapes really makes an amazing space to look down on and then at the lower level there's a typically Dutch surprise there's an underground parking garage but of course it's for bikes But apart from the architecture, the practical things are all here too. Ticket machines and shops and also a lovely staffed travel centre. And my train for Zvala will be leaving from Platform 3 in about 10 minutes. So it's time to pass through the ticket barriers and onto the station. Well, platform level may not have the grandeur of somewhere like Liège, but the canopy design is very pleasing. And also the benches, now they're very beautiful and functional. And before the train arrives, we've just got time to look at today's route. And today we'll effectively be following the route of the Aisle as it flows through the countryside and out into Aiselmere. And that means we'll have stops at Dieren, Zutphen, Deventer, Olst, Weir, and finally Zwolle, where the train terminates. We'll cover just 75 kilometres or 47 miles and, as the journey is timetabled to take exactly one hour, 
I'll leave it to you to guess what the average speed will be. And with that here comes the train, which is another Verm set. So, let's see if this one squeaks like the last one I was on. Well, at least the windows look a little bit cleaner. Right, the first class quiet zone seems to be a good place to aim for. Legroom is good and there's a footrest, a bin and a decent sized tray table. But because of the tapered shape of the coach there's no luggage racks and in fact there isn't anywhere nearby to put any items of large luggage. And with that we roll out of Arnhem. One line peels off southeast towards the German border, but we will carry on north for Zwolle. The in carriage display shows the stopping points, and there's also a route map showing progress. Well, I'm pleased to report that there's less squeaking and rattling on this carriage, although I think the general noise level is more than I'd expect in a modern intercity train. Well, we're held for a moment outside Zutfun before we can cross the old Eisel Bridge, a section of which can lift up to allow shipping to pass. And at the station at Zutfun is a Stadler GTW under the Arriva Spurt brand which operates local services in the area. And as we leave there's another GTW in the blue and white of the Blaunet franchise. In fact, as we leave, there's quite a lot of GTWs parked up at the Zutfun depot. Well, I do hope the weather picks up because I was really looking forward to a walk around Zwolle. And just outside Deventer, we pick up the N348 as it crosses over the N344. The railway stays north of the Aisle here, so we won't get to see the bridge where they actually filmed the 1970s A Bridge Too Far film. Because, by the time they wanted to make the film, there was already an awful lot of modern building around the bridge at Arnhem, so Deventer was chosen as a better site to recreate that atmosphere of 1944. Just like Zutfun before it, Deventer is a major junction as our north-south line crosses yet another east-west line. The windows? Well, they're not that clean, are they? I did look closely at these verms during the week I was here, and the pointy roof shape means that the carriage washers seem to miss the very top. And then, when the rain comes, the grime is washed down once again over the once clean sides. And as we're nearly at Zwolle, let's talk tickets. Buying a ticket on the day, this single journey could set you back €27.37 in first class or €16.10 in second class. People in the Netherlands can access a variety of discount options, so many will not be paying this full price. Things are starting to get more urban as we get closer to Zwolle. And soon, we join the lines coming in from Groningen and Emmen. And there's yet more Stadler GTWs waiting for their next turn on local services. And here we are, journey's end, and no doubt the Verm will be prepared ready for a return working later today. And there we have that intercity run from Arnhem to Zwolle and it was very good although uh, the windows were a bit dirty and the countryside was a bit flat but we kind of expected the latter and well we probably expected the former as well with the weather being like this so here we are at Zwolle I'm now going to go and get a, 
a coffee and wander around this uh, interesting town and uh, I'll catch you back here for my next journey and if you've enjoyed this journey then do give the like and consider subscribing to the channel as I release a video every Friday with the odd bonuses on a Monday too. So yeah, until the next time we meet uh, from Zwolle here in the Netherlands, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully I'll catch up with you soon on another journey. But if you'd like to see how I got to Arnhem the previous day on a lovely ride through Belgium and the Netherlands, then click here.